Now, when I first wiped, every got hot. Like, I'm not exaggerating. It got really warm. And I said, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up, hold hear up. That? Is there a big storm coming? If anyone who lives close to me, please stay home, stay off the roads. It's like a little hurricane that's coming. But anyways, today guys, we're gonna talk about the Honey Pot Co products. Yes, and I bought the Sensitive Wash and the Sensitive Wipes. Now the Honey Pot Co has an array of products that are made from natural ingredients. They have a normal wash, they have normal wipes, they have the Sensitive Wash and Wipes, they also have the Mummy to Be Wash and Wipes, which is pretty awesome. They also have Boric Acid Suppositories. Now if you don't know about Boric Acid, honey, go do your research and they have pads they have an array of things but i particularly wanted to try the sensitive wash now there's a lot of products that's out there and honestly i wasn't even going to go get these until the rapper sweetie suggested it on youtube during an interview that if you're sensitive down there to get the blue bottle from the honey pot co so i said okay sis i'm gonna go ahead and try it now when i was looking for it it was sold out everywhere the target stores the walgreens stores the walmart stores so what i had to do is ship it to the store i had to ship to target Target and Walgreens and luckily I found the last one like the third Walgreens I've checked so if you can't find them anywhere ladies don't fret go ahead and have them shipped to the store it might take a few days but they'll be coming in on their way now the first thing that I tried was their wipes now I was looking at the ingredients of their wipes and I'm not gonna front I was a little bit scared a little bit skeptical because I'm used to just, you know, using plain dub. I'm sensitive. I don't need no extra fragrance, no extra hoorah when I look at the ingredients on wipes. And there's a few that stuck out for me, like apple cider vinegar. Now, never had a wipe with apple cider vinegar, but apple cider vinegar is supposed to, you know, keep the pH in check, which is good. There's also chamomile in here. There's calendula flowers. There's aloe leaf, which is good and soothing. There's like an array of ingredients. There's honey. There's fruit extracts, and there's so much in here. There's lactobacillus, which is, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. It's a probiotic, which is meant to keep everything in chair, so that's a good thing. So I've read all of the ingredients, and I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit scared, but I said, all right, give it a try, and I used the wipe. Now, when I first wiped, everything down there got hot. Like, I'm not exaggerating, it got really warm. And I said, wait a minute, hold up, hold up, hold up. Sweetie, why you do me like that? Why you suggest these products? I was, I was scared for a second. And then I started to tingle a little bit too. And I'm like, Lord, I done thrown her off balance. I gotta get her back on track. Like, what I'm gonna do? But after about like 60 seconds or so, it subsides and it feels refreshing and clean and it doesn't dry up and leave you like really dry. It's kind of moist, but not super moist where it's like a bad thing. And it felt really good and clean. And don't get me wrong, I had a mirror and every hour on the hour, I was make sure everything was okay. Cause I don't play when it comes to her, okay? And so every hour I was like, oh, okay, oh, okay. But to my surprise, everything was perfectly fine. Smelt fine, looked fine, um, and it just felt so refreshing and clean. And even the next day, it felt refreshing. It felt clean, and I was like so pleasantly surprised that something that first scared me, like seriously scared me, guys, happened to be something that I actually liked. And I honestly, my pack in the bathroom, I've already used half of it. Now I don't overdo it. I maybe use like one to two wipes a day. Sometimes I might not use it. But this goes to say like, if you're out and about and you need like a quick refresher, this will definitely refresh you, all right? And if you get this ladies and it tingles, don't say I didn't tell you, don't say I didn't warn you. Now, if you had a wax recently or you did something crazy down there, I'd say do not use this. It's probably gonna sting and hurt. But if you haven't done anything lately and you've just like maybe just like shaved it or so, definitely give this a try. Now, I did read a lot of reviews and people were complaining saying that they changed up their ingredients and it used to be chamomile, now it has lemon peel, now it stings. I don't know anything about their previous formula. I can only speak on what they have today. And so far, I would say I like these wipes. Now, it did scare me, it does tingle, but you know, just give it, a, give it a minute or two and let it do its thing and you actually do feel refreshed and clean. Now, on to the wash. I have a closed one and I have an opened one. Um, so the sensitive wash has very similar ingredients 
to the wipes. I'll put them up on the screen. Now, one thing I noticed that they did not have was the good bacteria, the lactobacillus. And I was a little bit, I was a little bit upset that they didn't have that in here because that's a really good ingredient to have. But I'm like, it's okay. Let me just give it a try. And it says that the pH is between 3.5 and 4.5. So ladies, you know, that's a good thing. It's a foam wash. So what you do is you shake it and you put it on your hands. I'm only gonna use one pump. It suggests three pumps and you do what you gotta do. Now, after I washed with it, honestly, I felt a little, uh, 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 I don't know. It, it didn't give me that like refreshing, refreshing feel. Now, after I used it, honestly, I didn't get that refreshing feeling. Like maybe I had high hopes after I tried these wipes, which took me on a whole roller coaster, if you know what I'm saying. And the wash was very mellow, which is expected, I guess, because you don't wanna be stinging every time you take a shower. Like that's a bit excessive. But I'm gonna try it a few more times, you know, and just give it a try. And honestly, I don't really see a difference between this and like natural Dove soap. I'm trying to figure it out. It just wasn't the most amazing feeling for me. pH balanced and all, it's for external use only. External, you heard me? Yes. So these are the only two products that I tried from the Honey Pot Co. Um, I think these are the only two products I'm gonna try. I don't really need anything else from there unless I perhaps use their pads or they come out with tampons and such, I will. But I'm gonna continue to give this a try. Maybe I'll give like a 30 day update for you guys and let you know like my journey with it and how everything's going. But I'm sure everybody has different experiences. Do your research, read reviews. And I say start off with one. Now, these wipes on the other hand, I think I'm gonna need a few of these because these are good to have on hand when you just need to just snap her back real quick, you know, freshen her up. So I'll definitely get these. So these are a thumbs up. This is not a thumbs down. It's kind of like a one of these, but give it a try. Let me know what you think. And if there's any other natural feminine products out there, guys, put it in the comments below. I'm interested in trying some other new products. Like I said, if it sounds super crazy, I'm not gonna buy it. But if they have like a sensitive wash and I don't know about it, let me know. Something that's all natural, let me know. I'm definitely open to trying it, guys. But thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I helped you in your decision with on whether or not you want to try the Honey Pot Co. products. If you try them, put down in the comments below. Let me know your experiences. And let's share our experiences with each other. This is not something we should be scared to talk about. We should be sharing our honest opinions with each other. So don't forget to give this video a like and a thumbs up, guys. Also, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Show us this is some love. I'm at 500 subscribers. I'm trying to get us to 1,000 by the end of August. And I know we can do it, guys. So go ahead and share this video like this video show it love until the next time guys peace